and here we are. Rebel Proving Ground, X-Wing Level 1! Navigate carefully through the gates. You have 8.5 minutes to finish the course. If you get too far off track, you may press H to abort the run. Each missed gate incurs a 15 second time penalty. So the idea with this... ...is to get you familiar with the controls. Get you familiar with the game. And earn your first promotion, if possible. What I'm gonna do then is actually, first I went full speed, and then I am going to increase, change the balance of my uh, lasers all the way back around so that I'm at zero, which increases my engine speed. And since I'm not too concerned of getting shot at in this section, I will even get rid of my shields. You'll see at the bottom that my, my speed has now hit 150. Which I I don't remember if that's like meters per second or kilometers per second. I don't remember what it is. It The speed, I feel like, changes depending on which context you have here in Star Wars. I should have looked it up, but I did not. So here we are. I have 100 gates. Pardon me, 110 gates to get through. And, uh, oh, I missed one. So I'm going to just take the miss. I take a 15 second penalty, but that's okay. When I'm going full speed in an X-Wing, I can finish the entire course in about four minutes. So unfortunately, the beginning bits are actually kind of boring. But, uh, and I did forget to, uh, give up after the first one, so we'll just, we'll just continue with this to see what he says after we beat the first mission. But, you know, it is a long play. I do want to show everything that happens. Unfortunately, this is going to be a little less exciting. If you want to skip ahead to where the actual combat missions start, I would not blame you. But if you want to hang out here... I appreciate you being here, too. You'll see there all those... Oh, yikes. Yikes. Apparently, I'm drunk on the joystick. Um, all those boxes there, those are turbo lasers. They're not shooting me yet. But as I continue on in my training, they certainly will. Oh, missed another one. That's okay. And you do not have to go right through the middle. You can just clip it with your wing. And it's fine. Things get a little more mazy as uh, as you go on, but in the beginning, it's pretty simple. Wow, I thought I had clipped that. But once again, I've got lots of time, so I should be fine. The turbo lasers give you a time bonus. Every time you destroy one, you get an extra two seconds. I'm not going to need it this time, but there will come a time where I definitely need that time bonus to finish. So when it comes to that time, I, I might even switch to the mouse to control. Because you can control this game with both your keyboard and your, not your keyboard, pardon me, your joystick and your mouse. With both, you're going to be ne needing to use the keyboard to uh, use hotkeys. There we go. Ooh. Just, just not having a good time with those ones. Completely missing them. But I only have 10 gates left. Oh, there we go. The one, the one turbo laser taking a pot shot at me. And I do want to acknowledge uh, Simon of, of Retro Gaming Junction, who definitely has influenced this uh, long play. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. Not bad, but you still need training. Okay, we'll return to the Hidden Rebel Training Facilities. Before I move on to the next video, before I move on to level 2, I did want to do the one little cutscene when you... when you don't even make it past the first level. So when I don't even make it past the first level... This is Red Leader. Don't worry about it. Try again. Oh man, Red Leader. 
such a good friend. <laughs> so, there's level one. One of eight down. Whew. It's gonna be a while, folks. It's gonna be a while. But, I mean, that's next video. Nothing to even worry about. <laughs>